welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus. Now, we are going to be doing this farewell party from Marina. And, uh, you already know what's going to go down, ladies and gents. Just expect a lot of stuttering from me, because after last video, it was just too much. It was just too much, my guy. It was just too much. But, anyways, let's just get into it. Intrigued as I am by Marina's talk about a farewell party uh, That won't be until later in the evening I have to find something to do to eat up the time until then and so I decided to while away my time Doing research on Hazel Williams off for fuck's sake. I Know it's work related, but it got to be done sooner or later. Uh, I like to return to work on Monday with a dossier about Hazel already stashed away inside my head. It'll make sure I'm, it'll make my life a lot easier. Besides, talking to Marina makes me realize how easy I have it. I know she said it's not competition, but her hard work has inspired me to put even more hours into my job. I want to become a man that Marina can be proud of. And that means I have to do my best. I'll learn about Hazel Williams well in advance uh, of our first meeting. Then I'll be able to take some wonderful photos of her. That was my intention in any case. I have no utter motives. I swear I didn't. But I begin tranquiling the internet. But what is this? I stared at a picture of Hazel all blown up on the screen of my cell phone. At least I assume it's a picture of Hazel, but since I can't see her face, it's hard to tell. It's a picture of one of the first that came up when I searched for Hazel's name, but it doesn't have anything to do with tennis. There's no action shot. Well, let me amend that. There's a lot of action going on in that pic, but it's not good. Clean kind. This is a photo of... This bitch! She cannot be serious. She cannot be serious. I am- I was already flustered for the- oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. She got some cakes, but uh, moving on <laughs> Hazel's butt I blink, but the image of the photo doesn't flicker. It remains as a corporal as before as a corporal of a digital image floating around on the world wide web can be in any case The photo displays Hazel's rear propped up on a bench I thought I was a talented photographer, but none of my work can measure up to the greatness. I see before me or I'm seeing before me. Ignore me. <sighs> this snapshot made me realize what am amateur I am. What the fuck? <sighs> okay. I still have so much to learn. I wonder who took this anyway. I'd love to become a photographer's disciple. That might be wiser than King Solomon. <laughs> that should be a crime to not to share the knowledge with the rest of the world but wait I'm getting off topic here I'm trying to research talented slash morally dubious photographers I meant to be researching hazel and this picture gave me quite a lot of food for thought this is a photo of hazel yes but it's more than just that something really sticks out about this photo it's impossible to ignore no matter how many times I squint, I can't see anything that indicates Hazel is wearing any underwear. Does that mean that comment on my on that my tube bit? I navigated away from the photo and then opened up the video opened up the video my boss sent me. I skimmed through the comments. The eyes darted back and forth until I finally found what I'm looking for. Hey guys, are you out of your are, am I out of my mind, or is Hazel not wearing any panties? 
pause the video at 0 two seven seconds and take a look this could be big if true I remember this comment it jumped out at me for the first time I saw it at the time I discarded it as a baseless rumor though I checked the video myself it was too blurry to really see anything I figured Hazel was wearing peach colored underwear but this changes everything jeez Things have been totally nuts since the day I went to a used concert. I guess as far as Zandy things go, this is par from the course. Par, this is par for the course. Okay. <sighs> I should try and take this unexpected information in my stride. But I'd be lying if I wasn't a little bit excited about the me about my meeting with Hazel Williams. All of a sudden, my job gotten a lot more interesting. As I ponder this, my phone still clenches into my fingers as I hear a ramping upon the door of my room. Hiroki, are you there? I've come to pay for a visit. Oh, right! I turn off my phone and stuff it into my pocket. I was so busy researching. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel Williams, time simply flew by. It's almost eight now and it's pitch black outside. Now it's time for Marina's farewell party. You can come in. I'm decent. Are you now? I hear Marina's familiar mischievous giggle on the other side of the sliding door. I'm very glad to hear that, Hiroki. Though, you might not be decent for much longer after I've gotten a few claws on you. Marina slides open and reveal, to reveal Marina. In one hand, she's holding a bottle of what looks like sake. Sake, su excuse me, <laughs> sake. <sighs> Need to speak correctly. Uh, I guess she didn't reninge on her promise. I wonder how expensive sake is. Anyway, I can't see the brand since Marina's hand is in the way, but it looks kind of fancy. My attention is so drawn to the bottle of the alcohol, however, to the woman standing by Marina's side. Hifumi? What is she doing here? What is she doing here, Marina? I thought this would be a private party, but it looks like Marina's invited a guest along? Um, hello there. Hifumi waves at me. The long sleeves of her kimono flutters. I hope I'm not intruding. Marina told me she was going to be leaving tomorrow. So I asked if I could spend this evening with her. She's one of my dearest friends, and so wish we could talk more. She told me she had plans to see you instead, but she said I could always come with her. I was afraid of getting in the way, but Marina told me she wouldn't mind. She said you were an understanding man. After spending time with you, I believe this to be an accurate assessment of your character but to my presence as a father I don't mind leaving oh no it's fine the more the merrier take yourself to home my my the touches faded from Fumi's face the sweet smile captures her lips thank you kindly I believe I will take you up on that offer the Fumi closes the sliding door behind her and then kneels down on the tiny floor her every move is graceful not to a single second wasted. She brings her finger to her dark trenches and brushes a few loose locks behind her I've uh, sorry, ivory ear. The sight of her long, slender fingers make me recall the moments we spent together this morning, and my face flushes. I wonder if Hafumi noticed she might be oblivious to my feelings, but Marina isn't. She's sitting on the cushion by Fumi's sides and shoot me a coy look. What is it, darling? Your face is awfully red, and we haven't even started drinking yet. You're not coming down for something, are you? Oh, no, I'm fine. I hope you are, for your sake. I want my final night 
to be the one to remember. Don't let me down. <sighs> Marina's sultry laughter makes me makes my heart flutter. What is she planning to do to me exactly? I uh go get some glasses. That's right, you do that. Marina all but purrs. Her voice is sensuous. The sake tastes best when it's still cool. I hate it when it gets warm. That would be a waste. So I take it. It's expensive. But of course. It's an exclusive item. An exclusive, huh? I whistle. That sounds fancy. What brand is it? Oh, well, about that. Hifumi smiles sweetly. Fingers interlocked upon her lap. It's the type of sake which I produced. Uh, there was only a few bottles in this in the world. Most of them are reserved for most of my gin's best ales. It doesn't really have a fixed price per se, but it's so limited. Um, but I've seen people sell vials of this online for uh, 500,000 yen. Huh? I stared at Ifumi wide-eyed, my search for glasses momentarily abandoned. I know some people will shell out for such money or more for fine wine, but that's ridiculous. That's an insane amount of money to spend on sake, of all things. Uh, are you sure you didn't get mixed up? This sake isn't worth that much, is it? It's worth how much the buyers value it. It's a rare item, so it's supposed. So I suppose that it inflates the prices. While 500,000 yen is the standing go rate for a small vial, I've seen people sell it for more. And the whole bottle is at least 20 times that much. 20 times? 500,000 yen is expensive enough. Especially for a sip for sake, but multiple that by 20? That's crazy. What is this sake made of anyway? Why is it so rare and why isn't it such high demand? The bottle isn't made of diamond, is it? Oh no, it's nothing like that. Hifumi giggles primely, one hand against her mouth. The bottle itself is rather ordinary. The sake inside, however, is quite special. It's not ordinary alcohol, it's actually. Kochikami Zake. Kochikami Zake. That's mouth chute sake, right? Yes, indeed. This sake is fermented using my own. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> What is happening? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This sake is fermented using my own saliva. I made it b b chewing cooked rice and spitting it into a container. Then it was left fermented for over a year. <sighs> Making sake in such a manner is a slow process. It's tiring, too. Chewing all the rice and make, making my jaw ache. I can only produce so much spit in one session. Mm. <laughs> That's why this alcohol is so rare. Its production process is a grilling one. Because of my busy schedule, I can only afford maybe a couple of bottles a year. These bottles are sold in auctions to my fans. Some of them bid insane amount of money to get their hands on it. Oh, right. I can imagine. If this is a normal socket, I ponder its crazy popularity, but it helps contextualize things. Fumi is a very popular actress. She has a lot of fans, some of them more diehard than others. I can easily imagine dropping huge sums of money to their hands of on the exclusive Mount Chewed Sake. What a racket. I'm impressed at the sheer audacity of this business scheme, but I'm a little perturbed, too. Honestly, the sake sounds a little too special to me. 
I feel guilty drinking something so valuable. A single drop of this sake would probably worth more than all the organs in my body. That's a scary thought. Definitely. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And Fumi, the kind as always, is quick to soothe my worries. I happen to have one bottle spare, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. Honestly speaking, drinking my own saliva seems a bit strange. Go figure. <laughs> uh, when Marina told me about her farewell party, I was relieved. I thought it would be a good opportunity to make use of the sake. Um, there's no point possessing objects simply to own them. They need to be used for their intended purposes, or they'll get sad. I don't much want to drink it myself, but I'm very flattered if you could try it, Hiroki. It's full to brim with my love. If you drink it, it might help you understand me a bit better. And I think our relationship will get closer too. Right now, that is my dearest wish. I would love to strengthen our bond, so please do not hold back, drink as much as you want. Now that is an invitation I can't refuse. Oh, of course it is! You... You're not helping. You're not helping. What about you, Aroki? Aren't you gonna let loose? This is my final night of freedom after all. Ah, jeez. I thought of drinking something so obscenely expensive is a little discomforting. But how could I refuse when Hifumi being so earnest? It'll be rude to turn her down. All right, then, I'll give it a try. I never had this sort of sake before. Though, I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, that's not different from regular sake. The flavor is a bit deeper, though. The alcohol's content is quite high, <laughs> too. You better pace yourself, darling, or you might get trashed. <laughs> Getting trashed on a Fumi spin, huh? I must say, this isn't how I expected this day to go. Me neither. Oh, well, what is the point in being alive if not to experience new things? Right, here we are. I fetched a few glasses and set back on the floor. Would you, who wants to do the honors? I'm giving the bottle to you as a good, so you can open it. Thanks, Hifumi, but uh, I, I the bottle with some trimbendation. My hands are shaking, I'm afraid I'll drop it. <laughs> I don't want to waste your delicious, delicious bit. Oh, very well, then I'll do it. You don't mind, do you? It's fine, I'm a busy wo I'm a businesswoman. I'm used to being in control. Just leave everything to me. Grinning, Marina opens the bottle, then pours some of the thick, cloudy liquids into the glass. Sis. By the way, I was going to tell y'all, I just heard what he said. Uh, <laughs> here. She hands me my cup. Drink up. Right, uh, cheers. Cheers. Marina and I clink our glasses. Then I bring my cup to my lips and take a sip. Mm. I guess the moment sake crossed my tongue, it's even more potent than I imagined. The flavor is distinctly different from the normal sake. It's richer, almost earthlier, but it's not bad by any means. It might be something of it. It might be something of an inadequate taste, but. I I think I could get used to this. So, what do you think? Marina shoots me a challenging look, fingers curled around her own glass. It's good, isn't it? Surprisingly so. I think I'll need to try another so. I bring the glass back to my lips. I mean to have a little, but I finish the whole thing before I know it. How did I drink it so quickly? I told myself I was going to be careful. I wanted to pace myself. Just how much did that glass of the, glass of the sake cost. Anyway, 500,000 yen, 1 million yen. 
If Fumi decides to charge me for this later, I'll be bankrupt. I'm wasting money by the fistful. But the sheer excess of the little drinking party makes the sake taste even more delicious. I think I finally understand where AU is coming from from when she claimed to be money sexual. I've never had all much spare cash myself, but I've never experienced the joy of frittering money all willy-nilly. <sighs> now, I made my I made friends in high places. I can finally see the appeal of, of looting one's wealth. Ah! I say my class down. I stay my glass down on, on the time tum uh, to tummy mat. Excuse me, and then wipe my sticky lips with the back of my arm. I've only had a glass, and the alcohol is hitting me already. My my. Marina's giggling. Your face is so red. I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Piss off. I'm not. I'm usually better at holding my liquor than this. There's just something about this sake. It affects me like nothing else. In a good way? In the best of ways. Oh, thank goodness. I am pleased to hear you say that. I was worried that you might not like my sake. Now, I see my fears were baseless. I hope you were able to bring us, um, I hope this will bring us closer together. I know you haven't spent as much time with me as the other sucker by, but I'm very, very fond of you. I like you a lot, so I don't mind showing you who I really am. Oh, that's fine. You don't need to show anything you're uncomfortable with. It is quite all right. <sighs> you rested your head in the lap and you consumed my spit. You've done a lot together. Oh, we haven't actually had sex. I thought we did. I, I, I thought we did. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we didn't. False alarm, ladies and gents. False alarm. Fucking hell. She, li she literally lied to me, the fucking bitch. But anyway, it seems like the next natural step. I just hope it wouldn't be too surprising. <laughs> if Fumi, it's an elegant kimono melts away. Horns protrude from her scalp, wings unfurled from her back, and a brand new set of clothes knitted itself over her flesh. The outfit is more risque than her usual attire. Why? Yes, it fucking is. Jesus Christ, I just realized. Woo! Fuck, okay. It clings to her every curve. If I hadn't seen Marina's transformation before, I'd be freaking out right about now, but but this has since become my new normal. Now, to be quite fair, yes, it has, but God, Jesus, I have never seen one like this one. I thought Marina's was revealing. Fucking hell. All right, then. I'd take more than the girl with horns and a tail to psych me out. So what do you think? This is a bit different than how I usually present myself, isn't it? You don't think it's too lewd, do you? <laughs> I think you look great. Oh no, there's no such thing. You might wear less, but you're still very elegant. Thank you, you look beautiful. Hiroki? A sweet smile captures Fumi's lips. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I've lived in the human world for many, many years. I'm used to masquerade. I, I'm used to masquerade as a human. I don't particular mind. Uh, I don't particularly mind it. Um, but I've always worried about the fans who had no longer accept me if they knew the truth. I've been living in fear for quite some time. So hearing you say that truly touched me. To be honest, my succubus form is far easier for me to maintain. I don't need to use any excess magic energy to conceal my horns or tail. It's very liberating. These clothes are nice and easy to move in too. Move around in too. You're not worrying about that. I I think I look good in the suit, but sometimes 
I just want to kick back and take things easy. I can't exactly wear my succubus attire to my business meetings, but since there are three of us here, I might as well show my true colors too. Girl, please do. Please do. Oh, I miss this, baby. Oh my goodness, this has really shown my true color shit. <laughs> God damn it. Holy goddamn! So saying, Marina's form begins to shift in the tire. An altar, excuse me. Curly horns sprout from her scalp, and her business attire fades away from smoke. Or sorry, fades away like smoke. Ugh. <sighs> her new attire is very tight, and it shows off her curves. Both Hifumi and Marina look so good, I don't know where to look. You seem in quite the state, Hiroki. Oh yes, you are squirming like a capturing rabbit. Is something the matter? No, it. I tried to protect, but Marina soon cuts me off. It is with great regret that I must confirm that this is indeed something wrong. Hiroki here is a naughty boy, but the side of us succubus in our succubus attire is simply too much for him. He obviously wants to ravish us. R ravish? Oh my. Hifumi puts a hand against her cheek. Her face flushes. That is quite lewd. But then again, I am a helpless lewd woman myself. I try to keep my nature hidden, but it's hard when I'm around of it. Uh, it's hard when I'm around Hiroki. <laughs> I can't speak. He smells so good, and he looks good too. If anyone is going to ravish me, I like it to be him. <laughs> You're so brazen, Fumi. <sighs> Marina pokes Fumi playfully in the side, which makes her squeal. You act like a fair maiden, but you really quite paved. I think you might be the most audacious of us. Sucky by. For all the t your time has been in the human realm, you haven't completely shed your old ways. Of course not. I'm a succubus after all. Being lewd is part of my nature. I'm trying to hold back, but I can't. I'm getting excited. As I am, but we, we can't appear too desperate. First, we should make Hiroki squirm a bit, just a bit more. And how do you propose we do that? Well, maybe we could do something like this. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I can't. I can't do this shit. I can't do this shit, G. Fucking hell. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Oh my god. I am in a classy mood today. Sweet god. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Alright then! We are in a mood today! Oh Jesus! Jesus! Okay. Marina turns towards Hifumi, then she pushes their chest together. Uh, Marina next! takes wave one hand into the air. My English has completely lost, ladies and gents. I'm fucked. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I'm fucked. The open bottle of sake sitting upright on the floor begins to levitate as though by magic. To be fair, it probably is magic. Marina is a succubus. She must have a lot of power at her disciple. I haven't seen a fifth, no, a tenth of her true abilities. The sake bottle glides to the two women, then it slides itself snugly between <sighs> Marina and Afumi's bosoms. They look incredibly attractive. Why wouldn't I, why would I give the be that bottle? Oh, motherfucker, I am having a hard time saying the same thing, bitch. So, what do you think? Marina inclines her head in my direction, a devilish grin on her face. Are you enjoying the view? 
My brain is foggy with alcohol and I can't even I can't even try to hide my galping. <laughs> Me neither, G. Neither I can hide the truth. My true feelings should be obvious enough. Fuck. Yes, you look incredible. Ah. Hiroki says I look incredible. Many men have complimented my looks before, but it seems to mean more than coming from his mouth. I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> you two are so helpless. You are like teenagers. Bitch, I am trying! What do you want me to do? Oh my fucking god! You both need to work on your self control. Well, unfortunately, I'm a fucking virgin, so yeah! How can I? How can I? Please, tell me, Marina, how the fuck can I? I'm st I, like, I, 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 what the fuck, man? That, however, can't wait another day. Right now, I myself have no desire to uphold the tenant of chastity. I will be in a while, but until I am next able to see you, Hiroki. So let us make the most of this moment. Now, Marina beckons to me with one hand. As she does, the liquor of the bottle bubbles over and drips all over her chest. I'm censoring this. <laughs> I am censoring this. Because I know YouTube is going so far into doing this. Oh my god, why? Just, just why? <laughs> Sweet mother of god, okay. I'm hoping I'm able to censor this. If I'm not, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh, but anyway, moving on. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, G. Okay. Why don't you come here, dear? There's a lot more alcohol left. You should drink your fill. Take whatever you want as you're truly satisfied. Given your darkest desires, I'm going to turn you into your truest and honest. And I'll have a lot of fun while doing so, darling. Sucky yucky. That sounds good. I could go for some chicken gizzards right now. Well, what do you know? It looks like Marina had too much to drink. Glance at Marina and me tomorrow. Tugged at my lips. <sighs> the normally cool comment businesswoman is curled up in my futon. She's still wearing her sucky by attire, but her hair and her hair is tangled around her horns. She's clutching a Fumi's bottle of Kuchikami Sake, now completely drained to her chest as a child-minded cradle of favorite stubs of air. Her cheeks, flushed with alcohol, rubbed insistently against the smooth glass. Marina's totally out of it, but she still mumbles a little in her sleep. She's snoring, too. I've never seen Marina in a state before in such a state before. It's quite entertaining, actually. Maybe I should take a photo of this moment. I'm like a great black man material. Very tempting. I'm very tempted to whip out my phone. But I think I'll strain for now. I don't want to risk incurring Marine's wrath. A photo like this might be worth the money, but I hate to take my relationship with Marina. She means more to me than any shady publishing deals ever could. Oh my. Hifumi laughs, one cup, one cupping her cheek. She's still in her succubus attire, much like a marina. <coughs> no, Hifumi is much more put together. She didn't drink any alcohol at all, though her a blast, alabla, alabaster, excuse me, alabaster cheeks remains white as ever. Her clothes neat and tight. Marina has always been a heavy drinker. She's quite addicted. In the past, she used to get into all sorts of trouble, but it seems like she's more mellow now. She doesn't want to go on a rampage when she's drinking anything. She just sleeps. 
Marina used to go on rampages? That's new to me. Oh, yes. She... She wasn't... All this cool and collected. But then again, neither was I. I figured I hear... As, I heard as much already. I tear my eye away from Marina and look back at Ifumi. She is sitting cross-legged on the... On the... A mass, a wistful expression on her face. Is she thinking about the past? Now would be as good timing as of anything to ask Afumi about her old self. It might be the only chance I get. Hey, Afumi, I was wondering why do you and Cosmos dislike you so much? Is there a reason? Marina said you've changed a lot over the years, so I was curious. What were you like? Oh, Marina told you that, did she? Did she share any other of my secrets? Precise? Perchance, excuse me. No. Uh, she said I had to ask myself. Actually, myself. She said it would be unfair if I spilled too much of your secrets. Really? Uh, that does sound like Marina. She might be a messy drinker, but she is a good friend. She was the first person to forgive me when I decided to change that a change was in order. <sighs> if not for her, I might be without allies right now. She has done a lot for me, and I really am grateful. Fumi brings a hand up to her hair as she speaks. She brushes a few dark strains behind her ears, still smiling. Her hair looks darker than ever in a dusky night black as pitch the way it trembles over the shoulders over her shoulders is particularly enticing it's almost making me want to run my fingers through it well if you know this much I might as well tell you the whole truth I just hope it wouldn't it won't sour you against me Hiroki I'm sure it won't you have my word you could say what's with that certainty though you do not know what I did. I can. Whatever it is you're hinting at in your past now, you m might have been cool or wicked, but that was before I ever knew you. The Fumi I know is selfless, gentle woman who would do anything to help those in need. My current opinion still won't change no matter what. I'm not as callous or callous as a you, you know? Oh, Hiroki, that is sweet. Thank you, I feel better already. Very well then, I will tell you of my past, of who I used to be. It is not a pretty story though. I was ashamed of who I was, and I've done my best to mend my ways. If I had not spent so much time in the human realm, a metamorphosis might have never happened. I am who I am today because of my career and the support I found in my fans, you see. If Fumi falls silent, she rests her hands on her lap, her head bowed. Since she's kneeling, she looks like a participant in the tea ceremony, so, or maybe a Karuta match. If Fumi's sucky by a tire doesn't leave much of an imagination, but does look refined regardless. It's no wonder she's such an enduring popular actress. I became an actress when I was 18, but before my life's course, I was rather different. I was born, you see, into royalty. Royalty? That's right. My mother was the queen of the succubus realm, and I was raised from an early age so that I could take her place. I lived in the succubus realm since my childhood years, and a large palace in the heart of the, our biggest city. I have maids to wait upon every need and all the other succubi revered me. I feared this must have gone to, gone to my head because I was a horrible bully because of my youth. I was violent, short-tempered, and thorough unlikable. Wait a minute. Why does that sound familiar? Is that just me? Does that not sound familiar? I was very cruel to my servants. I bite them, kick them, and shouted 
obscenities which made me blush to think on it now. I was, in short, a demon. Afumi recites her tales in gentle lyrical cadences. She kneels all while her head bowed in a humble gesture of supplications. She looked and sounded very mild. I can't quite square the woman sitting before me with the nightmare child depicted in her story. It just doesn't compute. Wow, I can't imagine that. You sure have changed. Yes, indeed. It took quite a while, though. Transformations of this magnitude does not happen overnight. Time flows differently in the succubus realm than it does in the human world. It took many, many years for me to mature. Doubtless, that's why Cosmos and AU trust me, mistrust me so. There's so many the memories you see of my former wicked self. But I was able to change when I first came to the human realm. All the succubi who wish to rule must live amongst humans in one earth year, undetected. It's a test designed to develop one's character. If said succubi is able to integrate peacefully among human society, they will be d deemed a worthy queen of her people. I'm first to send upon human upon the human world in the in my 18th year. Ugh. In the beginning, I was fully contempt of for humans who I believed to be inferior to my own kind. <sighs> but that changed over time. I was scouted in the streets by a talented agency. And I fast became an actress, and before I knew it, I was working long hours alongside a sleeve of various humans. The work was far harder than I imagined, and for the first time in my life, I had to fend for myself. And I was shocked at how many, how much there was to do. I had to work long, difficult hours, then I attended to do my chores. It was difficult without my maids to rely on, but it also made me realize how hard you humans work. During that year, I began to calm down and to respect humans. Soon, cooking and cleaning became rewarding, and I even started enjoying my work. When I, my first movie came out to critical acclaim, I was overjoyed. Finally, I had found something that fulfilled me. I realized that making others happy makes me happy too. I didn't want to be cruel despite the spot, uh, well, the spot that bossed others around. I had decided that I would change, but I could never become the me I truly wanted to be if I returned to the succubus realm and inherit the throne. I feared I would make for a poor ruler indeed after I had terrorized many people. So what did you do? I forfeited my rights to the throne. My mother was unhappy about it, of course. She had trained me strictly when I was a little girl, hoping that I might continue her legacy. She asked me to reconsider, but I refused. I wanted to continue living amongst the humans and then keep approving myself. I thought it would be the best path that I could take. I must atone for the selfish ways of my past. It is my duty. I had many great strides already, but I'm not a great person I want to be just yet. I hope if I, if I take enough roles and act as enough characters, I will one day learn who it, who it is I truly want to become. I see. The Fumi story provide a little... Prov Wait, sorry. Hifumi's story is m proving more, well, sorry, most. Jesus, I'm having a hard time reading my goddamn screen. <sighs> Hifumi's story is proving more illuminating. I now understand why Ayumi and Cosmos mistrust her. By the sounds of it, she was a truly wicked royal. Your very definition of a spoiled princess. But at the same time, I'm pleased Hifumi... 
Fumi tried to change her ways, even if it took decades to do so. It does leave me with a few questions, though. So, what ascends the throne? Who ascends the throne after you? One of my cousins. Uh, I nominated her herself. She's somewhat inexperienced, but I think she's a nice girl. Her punishment can be somewhat harsh, but she is striving earnest to lead our people. She is a far better ruler than I could ever be. And her name? Yet Yue. Oh! Oh, that's her cousin? Oh, damn, that's her cousin. I didn't know that. Wow. So, uh, the girls literally mentioned Yue before. She, or sorry, Yue. I don't know how to say it. Or, is it you? You. Okay, it's probably you. Uh, you. Um, she ascended the throne a few years prior. So, technically, she is a queen now. And most of our people still call her princess. She is rather young, after all. From time to time, I return to the succubus realm to give her advice. I help train her. So she would be better to manage with the day-to-day -day running of our realm. Whenever she has questions, she asks me. The pair of us are very close. <laughs> That's nice to know. I'm glad you're, you like your reliable big sister. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that like that, but I guess the planet analogy. And you don't resent her from. And you don't resent her for taking your place. Not at all. In fact, it's the opposite. I'm relieved she accepted the job. She, if she had not accepted to inherit the throne, she would have no choice but to return to the uh, succubus realm. Oh wait, so I would have had no choice but to return to the succubus realm. I would have been forced upon the throne whenever I wanted or not. Fumi shuddered. I am far happier with this arrangement. I do not mind acting as you. Oh, sorry, you. I, I'm having a hard time literally saying the name now. As you advi use advisors from time to time, but I really do prefer to be prefer being an actress. I love living amongst you humans. Oh, very interesting. Your work ethic opens my eyes to my true nature, and it is because of you that I decided to change. You made me the woman I am today, and for that, I am entirely grateful. Hifumi presses her hands against the tatami floor, and it offers me a deep, gracious bow. Thank you, Hiroki. You may not have known me at my worst, but I hope you could continue to support me as I try my very best. I will not give up. I will keep working hard. In the end, perhaps a you and Cosmos could, will learn to forgive me for being so wicked. That is my earnest desire. <sighs> that is it, ladies and gents. That was a wild ride of this episode, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to join the Iron Eye today. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram. And as always, I'll see you guys later.